This is why cars and bids will fail. Allegedly, of course. Well, the first point I have is that they don't care about the sellers. How could an auction site selling cars not care about, care about the sellers? Well, let's see. When I contacted them to sell this car, a 2007 S600 with only 46,000 miles on it, with a number of obvious modifications, 613 horsepower, 738 foot-pounds of torque, they said, well, you need a reserve of only $10,500. So they pushed for a very low reserve on this car. I suggested back to them that, well, it only has 46,000 miles and they'd seen the long list of modifications, over 30 items, and they still said, well, to be approved, you must have a reserve of only 10.5. How did they come upon this number? Well, as you know, Daddy Doug, who I love dearly, is part of Auto Trader. Auto Trader is linked to the NADA guide for used cars. The low trade-in for a poor condition 2007 S600 with this mileage is valued at $9,600. An average trade-in is listed at $11,600. So what did they do? They averaged the cost between them and came upon $10,500. For this supercar that originally cost $150,000. $10,500. What's the clean retail? $16,000. What was the reserve I wanted? Yep, you guessed it. $16,000. Is this car a clean retail car? Uh, no. It is an extensively modified, in perfect condition, 46,000 mile example of a super sedan. So they don't care about the sellers. Second point is they push for no reserve. In reality, a no reserve auction is stupid. If I, the seller, chose not to sell my car to the bidder, I don't have to. No reserve means nothing. It is ignorant and stupid. At the end of the day, when you sell your highly prized collectible car or custom car, you're going to sell it for what you want or you don't sell it, period. No reserve is ignorant. The only other option with a no reserve car is you get junk cars, like my neighbor's cars. This 2004 Honda Civic, worth maybe $1,000. You can see the bumper falling out from here. It is a California Nevada type car. So if they don't care about sellers, maybe they care about the buyers. Well, actually they don't care about the buyers either, allegedly. Why do they not care about the buyers? Because that is who pays all the commission. Why is it up to a buyer to owe the money when they buy a car? Okay, yeah, he was nice. He capped the commission around 5,000, but it was a heavy one at that. Does the, decide, does the site decide, uh, deserve many hundreds of dollars just for selling your car? That's up to you. Also on the site, guess what they've been doing lately? They are posting junk. They are approving junk cars. Does anyone watching this video think an 88 Mercury Grand Marquis, no offense to the owner, on the site, does anyone think that car is worth anything? Yes, it was made during the 80s. Is it a collectible car? No. Is it a customized car? No. Second one, 90 Legend Coupe. Guys, there are very few Acuras that are ever made that are highly collectible or awesome. Acura NSX comes to mind. 94 Ford Explorer, currently listed for sale on cars and bids. I don't know what the reserve is, doesn't matter. The car is worthless. It's worth less than $500, regardless of condition. Okay? Final one I'll mention is a 94 Caprice wagon. There are people who think wagons are cool. A B body wagon is not cool. It is a giant jelly bean. Even with 260 horsepower from the LT1, it is underpowered. So let's see, they don't care about the sellers, they don't care about the buyers, they're posting junk on there, a lot of those without 
no reserve auctions. They're reserve auctions. I don't know what they are. Only the site knows. So at the end of the day, what does it matter if a car has a reserve that no one can see except for the site? It matters because they want sales. The site only makes commission when they sell a car. Otherwise, they just get the small listing fee of around $90 or more. This car pictured original MSRP was in excess of $150,000. How many cars do you think currently listed on Cars and Bid have a MSRP of that price? One. Do you want to take a random guess what that car is? It's this car. Okay, not exactly this car. It is the same basic car, but an S65, which has a six liter version of this V12, which is five and a half liter. But basically guys, same car. The closest ones to it, yeah, there's a Ferrari on there. Original MSRP, $135,000, $136,000, less. There is also an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Boo hoo, it was only worth $110,000 when it was new. This car, one fifty, But they wanted a reserve of $10,000 be willing to list it. All right, guys, those are all my stupid little points. I love cars. I build them for fun. I built this one a year ago, been driving it since. Really enjoy it. Why am I selling it? Well, I got more cars to build. That is a 383 stroker, cammed, LS supercharged motor. Yeah, it looks like a C5 Corvette. It's a 1998, but like I, when I said I build custom cars, this one is in the progress, and so I can finish it, I need to get room and get it out of here. If you notice, that is not a C5 rear end, that is a C7 rear end. Those are C7 exhaust tips and mufflers. Oh wait, this car has C7 exhaust tips and mufflers on it too. So now I'll take a brief second to be a car guy and nerd out on my own car that I did build that is for sale, and I get constant contact about people who can't afford it, but who want it. It is the king of all cars, the S600, the twin turbo. I did the custom exhaust, the rear valance panel to look like an AMG, side skirts to look like an AMG, 315 rear tires, which don't rub, which fit under it, custom painted Laguna Blue Corvette color, brake calipers, front and rear, all brakes, cross-drilled and slotted, all brand new. Guys, this is the kind of car that should be on Cars and Bids. AMG Black Series front end, dual intercoolers for the twin turbos, dual water pumps for the twin turbos. When we get inside, I'll show you more. 2010 look grill. I have not put it on Bring a Trailer because of the hood scoop. Why? They like stock cars there. This site is for modified cars. Why do I have a hood scoop? Well, we are standing in Las Vegas. The temperature yesterday was 110. Today will be 110. I need every bit of cooling I can get in this city. Hence the AMG grill. Hence everything done to this car. This car is what's called keyless go. No key in my hand. Walk up, car unlocks itself. Push to start. Six disc DVD player, memory card, not touchscreen. It uses the command system. There you go, 46,000 miles. Again, with that intercooler circuit, I did two pumps. I have a switch I can command it on. That light shows me that they're on. You never have to worry that your intercoolers aren't working. Interior like new, the leather seats, wood grain. It's a black on black car. Suede headliner, sunroof and a rear panel roof, both with covers. Onto the engine for the nerds who like building things. Sorry about that. Stock. Engine cover is retained, it's in the house. All it does is trap the heat onto the engine. Everything about this car is about heat. Those giant turbos, this giant V12 makes tons and tons of heat. You can see I relocated the coil 
controller up to there because as you know these cars have problems with the coil packs I wrap the air intakes in header wrap the air boxes in gold tape way way down here is where the water comes from the intercoolers if you can see my finger see the silver pipe that brings the water both sides one on each wrapped in header tape to keep the water cool this car's ECU was remapped tuned sent off because they don't dyno tune these cars because there's basically only a certain amount of set modifications you can do the company claims 613 horsepower 738 foot pounds of torque talk about cooling these are stock coolers they have transmission coolers power steering coolers abs abc suspension hydraulic suspension which currently works flawlessly coolers how about more coolers intercooler intercooler Radar cruise control, not currently working, because guess what? I never fixed it. This car gets 12 miles per gallon, best case. Does it need cruise control? I don't think so. Maybe you do? It's a $300 part on eBay. Push button hydraulic trunk. I put in a tasteful box in the area you cannot reach. I'm six feet tall, my arm only goes back that far. Under storage, side storage, two sundown audio subs. The path in the middle is to allow the subs to go through the rear pass-through, allowing this perfectly sealed trunk to make base in the front, all wrapped in blue suede to match the brake calipers. Guys, this is a well thought out, custom built car. Every aspect from engine, cooling, braking, interior, stereo, ceramic tinted windows, is this car worth $10,500? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Is Daddy Doug's website doing the right thing? Caring about their sellers? Getting them top dollar for their car? I don't think so. Let me know in the comments. If you think I'm a giant douchebag, go ahead and let me know. Was I mad that they told me no? A little bit. But honestly, like I said, I had four people last night contact me on Facebook Messenger after I relisted it because you can't have it for sale anywhere else if you're on cars and bids well now i have it on facebook offer up craigslist let it go whatever i need i'm sure i'll get it sold for what i want which is around twenty thousand dollars that's double what they think the car's worth what do you guys think again shoot me a comment allegedly cars and bids does not care about the buyer the seller or your car have a great day goodbye for now